Hello, uh, my name is James Cash. I wanted to do um, another little video today, hopefully this one will be uh, shorter, uh, talking about how I like to use Emacs for reading stuff. I mentioned it kind of offhandedly uh, when I was doing my original uh, kind of introduction, my Emacs config. I mentioned I generally don't really like reading ebooks or whatever, um, but I've actually found Emacs to be uh, one way that, like, probably the only way I actually do like reading it. Um, are using to read electronic books, PDFs. Uh, one of the things that I didn't really trust about um, using a normal ebook reader is I found it's way too easy to lose my place. You know, if the, the thing closes, something crashes, I'm now, you know, I've lost my page in like a multi hundred page PDF. It's such a pain to jump around that I just like, whatever, I'm not going to keep reading it. Uh, with Emacs, the one uh, PDF tools is such a great way. Um, of reading things that I really enjoy of using it. It makes it uh, has lots of really powerful features. You can zip around really easily. Um, and then also because it integrates with org mode, I actually can use org just to track where I am in the book. So I can use this to keep track, sync between multiple devices, exactly what point I'm at in a book. So I was going to quickly do an overview of how I do this. Um, pretty straightforward so this is in my uh, reading cogent reading file uh, I use PDF tools as I mentioned it's a whole thing um, PDF tools is great it has to build a stand like a separate uh, library separate binary um, to use it so if you're using Emacs on Windows that might be a little tricky to set up um, but in my experience on um, Linux and on a Mac it works fine just when you first run it, it'll say it needs to rebuild it builds you might need to like install some dependencies but I've never had a problem with it and then um, it can open up the PDFs really nicely because it will uh, slice up the PDFs it's only rendering like an individual page one at a time so even opening a pretty big PDF um, still feels really snappy and then the other thing uh, that I use is this org PDF tools package and this is what lets me include links, uh, like deep, basically deep links into a PDF um, in an org file. Um, for a reason that I don't uh, actually recall, I have written down in my config that this needs to get loaded before org mode gets loaded. Um, this is something to be aware of if you're noticing this not working for you. I think this may have to do with just the way that I'm loading org mode where I'm using a straight to get the org plus contrib and I had previously was seeing issues where the wrong version of org would get loaded it would try to load like the built-in version instead of the version with all the other stuff so hopefully <laughs> this doesn't happen to you but if you're noticing weird things you might need to play around with like the load order of these packages I don't know anyway that's what I'm doing here so just uses org PDF tools package um, and then the way it works I'm just gonna go I have a little demo file because I don't want to show my main to do file so I can just have a list of these things um, and see some of these have links so right now they're like display links um, if I make them show the full thing you see it's a link using this like a, a PDF colon um, like a link scheme this changed relatively recently, so like a few months ago last year at some point, I think I had to change a bunch of my links because the format I think changed from like PDF tools colon to just PDF, but whatever, it's straightforward enough. Um, some of these have this extra little bit here, which I generally don't use. I usually uh, manually get rid of it. Um, that lets you actually link to right to a specific point in a page, but I'm not gonna use that. So real quick then, so the way that I'd read a book is I would, uh, so the first time, so these ones, these are links I already had in there, so I could just hit enter on it, jump right in, start reading, and then when I'm done, when I get to, okay, I get to a certain page, I can use uh, org clip link, I believe, I don't, uh, the key I have it bound to is F8, which is org store link, of course, so I do org store link, and then PDF tools has this extra stuff, so it says you can click on the page to add a link to a specific point. 
I don't want to do that. I don't want to add an iSearch link, so I just have that link stored. And then um, in here, I can just use the uh, store clip link, which by default is Control C, Control L. Insert the link there, give it a name, drop it in there. So I do this, and then as if you know, the next day I come back to it to keep reading. So let's say I close it. Next day I come, continue reading read a little bit further. What I generally do here, there's definitely ways I could simplify this more. I've now made it to page seven. I just put the cursor on the link in here and do control C, control L to edit it. And then I just change the page link on. Before it was on page four, change it to be page seven, keep the description the same, and then just keep going like that. So now here, now this link to page seven, go to page 11, edit this to be 11, keep it the same, now it jumps to page 11. So that's the main way I use it when I'm just reading things casually, so real straightforward. Um, definitely ways you could automate this to make it a little easier. Um, another neat thing you can do that I've used for some things, I don't use it super often, is doing annotations. So this is a paper that um, my sister-in-law is a co-author on. And I was having a look over at one point, wanted to like make some little notes, some things I want to ask her about. So I stored these as links. So now I can hit uh, Control C, Control A, L to list annotations. And now I have a list of these annotations. I can do Control C, uh, Control F to turn on follow mode. And then when I select the given annotation, it'll jump to the page it's on and it'll show my little notes in the bottom. So it's very uh, handy. And then if I wanted to add a link in a PDF, I would just say highlight some text. So I just use the mouse for this because that's generally easier for this sort of thing. And Control C, Control A. There's a couple different types of annotations you can make, like highlights, um, strike through, squiggly. I generally just use underline. So then I would hit U. And then I can add a little annotation here and say, is Christian. And control C, control C to save it. And now this underline has been added to the PDF. I can save the PDF and then I can close it. And next time I jump back in here, if I open up the list of annotations, then I can see this new annotation I made stays in there. So really handy way of um, keeping notes on things. Uh, also note one other little thing that I like about PDF tools is the search on it is really fast. So I happen to have uh, another book I read earlier this year. Um, if you have even a really big text, you can still search through it pretty quickly. So you took a second to index, but if you're really curious, where in the Bible does it mention wizards, for example? You can use this to search through. So um, just a handy little thing, um, even for looking through a really big PDF, I find the Emacs search for this really, really snappy. So you do a lot of fun things with this. So that's pretty much all I have. Um, on using Emacs to read stuff. Um, yeah, hopefully you find that interesting. It's a simple thing, that's kind of why I like it. It doesn't require a ton of setup and it just works really simply. I have, you may know there's this tiny little thing in here. Uh, this is something I use to make it um, show the page labels um, in the custom mode line to show what page I'm on. But you can have a look at my Emacs config if you're curious about that. So I hope this was somewhat interesting. I hope uh, maybe Emacs helps you read a bit more, but um, have a nice day.